Good morning, everybody. Heading out of Daleville, Virginia. Pushing north, everyone. In the background, you can hear the sounds of Interstate 81. And typically when I'm out on the trail, that is my absolute least favorite sound is the sound of the highway or you know the hustle and bustle of civilization. But for me this morning, it really has me thinking about home because straight up Interstate 81, just a few short hours, is my home, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. And just really thinking about home here this morning and how easy it will be to hop on that interstate and go home and get a great big hug for my sweetheart and my family. And make no mistake, I'm not thinking about coming off trail, but just knowing that it is literally that close, it makes me really want to rent a car and go home for the weekend. But I have just a little over 300 miles to walk there. And I think that's actually a better choice today. Up until this very moment in the video, uh, I knew I was obviously the first one out of Daleville as I was doing some silk blazing here this morning, which is clearing all the spider webs out of the way. And such a joyous sight seeing a trail runner coming southbound towards me. Basically, my indicator that the trail is now clear of spider webs. So, hey, that's a big plus here this morning. There was about uh, 10 of us through hikers, all nobos in Daleville last evening. And uh, when we first got into town, first order of business for me was heading down to Three Little Pigs Barbecue, a place I was really looking forward uh, to eating at for the past couple years here. Food was fantastic. Service was great. Actually kind of exceeded my expectations a little bit. Great food. Um, of course, I got a, a huge hiker portion to enjoy. Grabbed some resupply there at the local Kroger to take me a couple days down. I did not have a resupply box shipped here because we have only like a two to three day resupply till we get to our next point. So I figured I'd just, fill, you know, backfill some holes in my, in my food game. And then later in the evening, went down, and I was telling you guys how much I was looking forward to some, some Chinese food. So we we're able to grab some Chinese at a, a place down the road called Yo Mate. That's actually what it was called, Yo Mate. So <laughs> I grabbed uh, some great food there as well. So good evening in Daleville. Um, do want to issue a travel alert. Stay out of the Howard Johnsons. Um, of course, we picked the cheapest choice in town and the accommodations reflected our choice um however it was it was doable we were all together and um it turned out to be like 15 bucks a piece so saying farewell to daleville it was nice to get in there after going through uh virginia's triple crown heading north everybody pushing north received a phone call yesterday from a good friend of mine and a trail magic legend. I'm not gonna disclose who it is at this point. And he advised me that we may see him as early as this evening or as long as two days. And I am so looking forward to it, looking forward to sharing that with you. Um, some of you may be able to already guess who that is. And I will give you a hint. I actually interviewed him on my channel last year when he came through my home region. So just to see him and experience some of his awesome trail magic as a through hiker, that would be quite amazing. So let's head up the trail. Looks like we have a beautiful day on tap and let's see what the day brings us. Here we go, everybody.
Wilson Creek Shelter, mile 741.5. Just finished up second lunch for the day. It was a KC Masterpiece chicken creation packet with some crushed chili cheese Fritos shoved down in the pack. It was actually quite tasty. We've been in communication, Free Fall and I, with the group that was a little bit slower coming out of uh, Daleville this morning. And uh, apparently, Silky, Fixin, and Bob the Builder came around a corner and there was a baby bear cub staring him right in the face. And just beyond the bear cub was Mama Bear, who immediately growled an alert of discontent. So we asked them, uh, you know, hey, pictures or it didn't happen. And their reply was, Pictures my butt, we all ran. So, someone had made a comment on one of my uh, videos the other day about bears. Um, just to clarify, I'm not afraid of bears. I'm afraid of coming between a mama bear and her cub, as everyone should fear that, because that's when you can get in a bad situation with bears out here. Of course, it's very common for them. They're just looking for food. That's pretty much it. They're not looking for human prey. But if you don't store your food properly and you're out here, you can lose a few days of food. That can be a major inconvenience. And of course, you don't want to be bluff charged or worse, attacked by mama bear. So we are headed towards the Blue Ridge Parkway right now. It's coming up on 3 p.m. and we have around 12 miles in for the day. It's been some pretty easy hiking so far in this section. The trail's been pretty good to us, a beautiful day. The next shelter is about seven miles out. So we're gonna grab a couple liters of water at this next water source. And we're probably gonna drop anchor somewhere between here and uh, the next shelter. And there's apparently some overlooks coming up. So we're gonna take a look at uh, the potential for some campsites. See what's out there. I'll check in with you a little bit later. Okay, everybody, not that I wasn't having a great day already. My day just got a little better. I mentioned earlier about an AT legend, a friend of mine, who does an incredible amount of trail magic every year. And I'm talking months worth of trail magic from Georgia to Maine. And I told you there was a possibility that I would be seeing him sometime soon and he's been in contact with me, called me a couple times, told me he was gonna come out and see us to feed some hikers. And I know he's probably not gonna be happy when I say, refer to him as a trail legend, but uh, if I don't fall here and kill myself, wasn't that great? Can you tell I'm excited? Uh, so we've been in touch the past couple of days. So he wanted me to keep him abreast of where we were gonna be over the next couple of days and I advised him this morning. I sent a message, text message and said, we're shooting for the Taylor, Taylor's Mountain Overlook on the Blue Ridge Parkway, somewhere in that area to camp. And there's a, a group behind me that uh, they were a little slow getting out of Daleville this morning. So they're a few miles behind. So Freefall and I were up front here and I'd sent Fresh Ground a message uh, you know, we were going to be in about that area. So I'm coming down off the mountain to uh, Taylor's Overlook. And there sits fresh ground. So Freefall was already ahead of me. 
And I thought Freefall was gonna stop at Taylor's Mountain Overlook, but uh, we're trying to get some miles in, so he pushed forward to the next overlook. So, fresh ground pushed ahead, caught him, and now I'm catching the rest of the trail here to get up the road. And he's ready to feed hikers. And I didn't turn the camera on when I came down off the mountain because I, I'm gonna be honest, I've been looking forward to seeing him since last year when I first met him. Fresh ground's in the house, people. Oh my, we're in for a real treat. A rainy view from Montvale. Free falls in the mix. And we just drank Fresh Ground's Kool-Aid. So we're on our way to the shelter. And it's cold. The temperature dropped about 15 degrees in about an hour. So, uh, we are headed for cover. All right. All right, everybody, we're here at Boblitz Gap Shelter, mile 748.8. .8. That's going to give us a total of 18.5 miles today out of Daleville, and we will definitely take it. Uh, great day today, beautiful day for hiking. Um, we got some cruising miles in as well. So chilling out here, grabbing some dinner. Uh, hold on, you can't see him because it's really dark, and we still can't <laughs> see him. All right, but I promise you that's free fall there. Uh, my GoPro doesn't shoot great video in low light. I have to work on that. Um, but it was great seeing fresh ground today coming down off the mountain and seeing him up there on the parkway it was absolutely fantastic and i do plan on sharing some footage he says he's going to make us uh, breakfast and or lunch or dinner we're really not sure at this point but we're settling in at the shelter here tonight and hopefully we'll see him tomorrow and i plan to share uh uh, some footage with fresh ground and some good times. We actually spent some time with him in the pouring rain in a van, sheltered in there for, uh, you know, probably two or three hours and chatted. It was great. And we're still able to get in 18 and a half miles. So definitely a great day today. So uh, time to finish my own dinner and uh, get some sleep. We'll be back with you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks so much for walking with me. Thank you for watching Wild on the Trail. Take care, everybody. Good night.